so I'm going back on reserve tomorrow. I'm gonna be on call for four days. So I figured I would go ahead and get all packed and ready to go. I'm gonna meal prep. And I thought that I would just show y'all how I prepare for reserve and kind of just my reserve routine. So I do need to go to the grocery store. I'm gonna meal prep. I'm trying to save money. So I'm gonna try to bring all of my meals for whatever trip that they give me. I did bid for trips. So we'll see if we get something that I bid for. So I'm gonna show you my whole reserve routine today. When I'm being good, when I'm not spending money and bringing my own food, I will meal prep beforehand and I'll pack all my food. So that is what I'm gonna do today because I'm really in a budgeting, saving money mood lately. And I'll also show you how I pack for reserve, which normally I'll pack clothes for warm weather and cold weather just in case because you never know where they're gonna send you and they could give you a very short notice. So before we get into all of that, I'm gonna tell you about the sponsor of this video today, which is Readly. Readly is basically an app that is like Spotify for magazines. I love magazines. I love when passengers give us their magazines on the plane when they're done reading them. And I just love to read. I feel like I don't talk about that a whole lot, but I'm a big reader, especially when I'm traveling. They have thousands of magazines that you can have access to on lots of different topics. Travel magazines, beauty, fashion. They also have things like home decor and food. They have recipes that you can actually download. For me, I just got engaged, so I'm planning my wedding right now. So I've been looking through all of the bridal magazines, getting ideas for what I want my dress to look like and the flowers and everything. They also have a bookmarking tool so you can bookmark things and go back to them. You can also download magazines that you can read later when you don't have service, which is perfect for me when I'm traveling. And it's really nice to save the space and not travel with magazines or newspapers. It's just all right here on your phone. You can also download the app on up to five devices. So that's really nice if you have a family or if you just have a bunch of different devices that you want to read on. So if you use the link in the description box, they are actually offering two months free right now and you can cancel at any time. So if you download it and you use it for two months and you don't love it, you're not locked into paying a subscription, you can cancel at any time. So there's really no risk to trying it out, especially if you love reading and you love reading while you travel. Tons of people read magazines and newspapers when they're traveling and this is great because it's all right here on your phone. You don't have to pack around a magazine or newspaper. It has actually been quite crisp outside in Dallas the last few days. Feels like full. Goodness, they are zooming. I'm stopping at Ulta and Trader Joe's really quick. I think it's called the MAC Studio Fix Powder. Sydney texted me today and said that it was on sale because she always has it and I'm always like, oh, I wanna try that. So I'm gonna go get that from Ulta. Also, before I forget, I should probably make a list, but I'm also gonna try to get some greenery and some flowers to put together because I'm doing my own flowers for my wedding. Like I'm determined not to have a florist because they charge thousands and thousands of dollars and I'm just, I'm not, I'm not doing it. So I'm gonna try to get some like white flowers and just some greenery and see what I can throw together and kind of practice. Maybe like my bouquet, you know, that kind of thing. It is pumpkin season. Okay, so I went to Trader Joe's and like the first three things on my list, they didn't have. So I had like three things in my cart and I was like, you know what? I'm going to another Trader Joe's. I did check out at the other place. I got to the checkout and the guy was like, did you find everything okay? I was like, yep. I mean, does anybody ever say anything other than yes? Even if I didn't find anything I was looking for, I'm still gonna be like, yep, sure did. Okay, Trader Joe's was a huge letdown today. Both of the Trader Joe's that I went to, and I'm done, I'm not going to another one. Both of them just didn't have like the three main things that I wanted. I did get some flowers, but the other Trader Joe's had white roses and I was like, oh, I won't get them. I'll just get them at the next Trader Joe's because I'm going to another Trader Joe's. Guess what they didn't have? White roses. So I got some white roses from Kroger. I did get enough food from Trader Joe's to meal prep a few things and I need to pack. And actually it's about three o'clock now. So I should be getting my reserve assignment for tomorrow pretty soon. Okay, we are back home. We are in my kitchen and I'm about to meal prep. I'm gonna try to make at least two things. Can y'all believe I just got a veggie chopper? I've been just cutting up onions with a knife this whole time. I'm gonna make two recipes. One of them I've made many times before. Just a pasta recipe. Then the other one, I've only made it once, but it's a recipe from TikTok. It was like a creamy taco soup. Wow, amazing. All these years. So I'm using the instant 
pot for this one. I brought this taco soup with me on my last trip. It was amazing, so I'm making it again. So this is pretty much all the ingredients here, except for some ground beef and a little bit of onion. And it is coming along real nice. My mom makes taco soup like this, and it's really good. It's probably a lot healthier without all the cheese, but cheese is very delicious. The last time I made this, I got some corn chips at Trader Joe's to eat with it. They didn't have the regular corn chips, but um, I got these organic elote corn chip dippers. Okay, here's the soup. It's looking so good. And I'm getting started now on my second meal prep of the day, which is like a spicy sausage pasta. I got this recipe from Kristen John, so I'll just like watch her video while I'm cooking. I love doing that with like recipes that I find on YouTube. So she actually uses spinach in her recipe, but I'm gonna try kale this time. Last recipe for the day is this TikTok recipe. It's just chicken and pasta, and you use this Trader Joe's spinach and artichoke dip for the sauce, and it is amazing. I'm not a big pasta girl, but when I'm working, pasta just travels so well and keeps so much better than things that I actually would prefer to eat. Like, I love salads, and I'll bring my Trader Joe's salads, and they go bad all the time. So it's nice to have things that will keep a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm waiting for my oven to heat up, but I just heard my phone go off. So I think I got my reserve assignment for tomorrow. So let's see what I got. So I'm on call 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I think I'll probably go and see what's open for tomorrow and just like bid for generic trips. I just hate sitting around waiting on call. Normally when I bid for stuff and I get the kind of trips that I bid for, those trips are usually a lot more desirable to me than when they call me. Everybody has different preferences and that's okay. Last meal prep of the day. So I'll link the original TikTok recipe in the description box. It's got a lot more ingredients than this, but I like things super plain. I just have that dip. It is frozen, so we'll see how it cooks from frozen. Um, and then tomatoes. While that's cooking, I'm gonna throw some of my taco soup into my little soup container that I got to travel with. This will be my first time using this on a trip, so I'm excited. I got this from TJ Maxx, but they do have them on Amazon, um, but it was just a little bit cheaper at TJ Maxx, so if you have a TJ Maxx and you need something like this, highly recommend. Well, I guess I haven't used it yet, but I think it's a really good idea. Okay, yeah, this is a lot of soup that I can fit in here. Isn't that cute? Okay, last thing, I'm gonna cook my chicken in the air fryer. I got these little parchment paper liners for the air fryer. I don't know what I was thinking cleaning the air fryer every single time I used it. This just makes it so much easier. I can just throw this away and I really don't have to clean it all that often. So here is how that sauce comes out. We got this and then I'm cooking my chicken and we will just throw the chicken on top. Okay, let's get packing now. I've been putting it off all day. The reserve list for tomorrow is already moving. They're already calling people. And actually, I'm still packed for Maine. Sydney and I were supposed to go to Maine the last few days and we ended up not going. So I kind of have to unpack and then repack. And I got lots of cute clothes for Maine that I didn't get to wear. This little packing cube, I just keep everything for sleeping. So I have my pajamas in here and then my eye mask and my silk pillowcase. This one pretty much just stays packed at all times. Obviously can't forget the international adapter just in case I get an international trip. Oh, also already packed are my little mirror with the light and also i really probably don't need this but i'll bring it just in case this is um my travel tripod everybody has something that they pack for every single trip and they never ever use and for me that is workout clothes so i'm bringing some leggings and just a little workout top and then i'm also bringing a pair of jeans then i also have this lounge set which I might not need, but I'm gonna bring it just in case. And then here is all of that in the packing cube. Then just in case they send me to Hawaii or something, I'm packing a bathing suit, jean shorts, and then this white button up 
to wear as like a bathing suit cover-up. This is very versatile. I could wear it with my jeans. These are my go-to white tennis shoes to pack on pretty much every trip. Also very versatile. You can wear it with so many different outfits. And then last but not least, of course, we have my toiletry bag, which I'm not actually packing right now because I usually just keep this in my bathroom until I'm like ready to walk out the door and it's the last thing I throw in my suitcase. And this is what my suitcase looks like. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna pack up my cooler. So this is how I keep everything cold. I just have these little ice packs. So I pretty much have these in here at all times. So this is the chicken and pasta that I made earlier. That goes in there on the bottom. And then this is that other pasta that I made. And then I'm also gonna bring this Trader Joe's salad. This chicken Caesar salad is my favorite from Trader Joe's. So I'm throwing that on this side. And then of course we have my soup. I'll just pack that just like that. And then we're good to go. And I'm gonna keep this in the fridge overnight. Almost forgot I'm gonna pack these Celsius drinks. I've been loving drinking these instead of hotel room coffee. So I'm gonna pack two of those up in this compartment at the top. I also completely forgot that I bought all those flowers today and was gonna try to put a bouquet together. Um, so I'm gonna try to do that really quick and just kind of see what I can throw together. Cause this is my first time doing anything like this. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Just imagine if I like practice making all these bouquets and end up spending more money than I would have if I actually used the florist. I've seen a few TikToks of like florists showing how they make bouquets. Those are ugly petals, let's pull those off. So yeah, that basically makes me an expert, I'd say. So this is my very lazily, very quickly, oh, I poked myself. Very lazily thrown together, first try, wedding bouquet. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> it could definitely use a little editing, but for my first try, I'm pretty impressed with myself. You just can't go wrong with greenery and white okay so i trimmed it up just a little bit and oh my gosh now i'm obsessed it is 9 p.m now so i just got ready for bed did my skincare and everything i have just a few more things that i make sure that i do before i'm starting reserve and one of those is i make sure that this little pill container is full of everything that i might need right now it is not several of these are empty whatever is missing i'll just throw some extra medicine in there. Always, always, always travel with this because there are so many things that can go wrong when you're traveling. You do not wanna be stuck on an airplane or on a layover with a headache or sick. I've got my uniform hanging in my closet ready to throw on in the morning. And then before I'll go to bed, I'll make sure that I have everything charging, which is basically just my flight attendant tablet and my Apple watch. Those are two things that we have to have when we go to work. is about 8 30 a.m crew scheduling just called me for a four day <laughs> y'all y'all i don't remember the last time i worked a four day trip four days are just so long if you're a flight attendant you know for i mean three nights is a long time to be away from home basically i screwed myself over because um i did bid for trips as position two so i'm the two i didn't specify <laughs> that i wanted like a one or two day so it's my fault i just bid for trips as the two so that's what they gave me good morning y'all it is future me right now so i had originally planned this video on being like my reserve routine and then also vlogging whatever trip they gave me on reserve but i did not expect a four day trip obviously and i'm editing this video right now and i don't want it to be too long i did vlog my four day trip though so i'm gonna have that be its own video so if you want to see me work a four day trip which is something that i have not done 
in a very long time um at least like two and a half years that video will be coming soon stay tuned but i also just wanted to say something about my reaction to getting a four-day trip because i feel like i'm gonna get comments like you hate your job just quit like <laughs> If you don't want to work a four-day trip, like just quit. Everybody gets to have their preferences. I obviously prefer to be away from home less than four days, which is perfectly fine. And that is the beauty of this job is that there's something for everybody and everybody prefers to work different kinds of trips. And sometimes you don't get to work the trips that you prefer and that's fine. I mean, I would prefer to work Paris, but you have to work towards that, you know? So I just wanted to comment on that because I just hate getting comments like that. Anyways, if you wanna see that four day trip, stay tuned. But that is it for this video. So I hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.